Greetings to all of you today. It's my pleasure to be able to come to you today to minister to you on the Word of God today. And I want to talk about the great Holy Spirit. Uh, it's wonderful to know we have the Holy Spirit. He is the third person of the Trinity. The Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. He became quite active in the New Testament. And it, after Jesus came and he was talking to the disciples, he told them in John chapter 14, and he said, I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may shall abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, he dwelleth in you, and he shall be in you. When you get saved, and ask Jesus to come into your life, the Holy Spirit moves into your life, and the Bible says he will teach us all things. Back in the Old Testament, they did not have this privilege of having the Holy Spirit with them like we do today. We've got the Holy Spirit. He's always existed, but he's put on a new definition of being a comforter, and he says he will teach us all things, and he will abide with us forever. And Jesus went on further to say in verse number 26 in the 14th chapter of John, But the Comforter, when he is the, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send him a name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. He has taught us the Word of God, and if we get the Word of God in our life, then the Holy Spirit will do great things for us. He teaches us. He helps us. Uh, there's many different things. He makes you happy. There's gifts of the Spirit that the Holy Spirit gives to us. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, and faith. There's a lot of, there's so many things that the Holy Spirit does for. I think sometimes we neglect to recognize how great the Holy Spirit does in our life. And yes, Jesus is important, and the Holy Spirit is sent to glorify Jesus, and that's his He's not wanting us to praise him, but we're to recognize his job and his duty that he does in heavenly places. Uh, he is the great Holy Spirit. It says in the Bible, one place, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. There's a sin against blasphemy of the Holy Spirit that will never be forgiven. Friends, don't ever fall into that category. Thank God he does great miracles today. I'm glad for the Holy Spirit. If you'll just open your heart, the Holy Spirit will move into your life. He'll do great things. He'll make you, he'll fill you with joy. He'll give you peace. He'll do you great things. And so all you have to do is just ask him to come into your life. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you so much for listening.